Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be making my grandma's specialty some classic baked muscacholi. So cheesy, so delicious. It's absolutely perfect for family gatherings like Christmas or Easter, or it works great for a simple family dinner. All right, let's get started. We're gonna just start off by chopping or dicing up a white or yellow onion. Doesn't have to be perfect. Once you've got that all chopped and diced, we're gonna go and add it into some ground beef and ground pork. You can use Italian sausage as well. And add that to a large saute pan and cook on medium to high heat for about five to seven minutes. Crumble along the way till everything is browned and no pink remains. Once that's done, you're gonna just wanna drain it. Once you strain the grease from your meat, we're gonna go ahead and move on to preparing our sauce. I just have some store-bought marinara sauce. You could use a homemade one, either will work. And just add that into the same saute pan we just used. Then we're gonna bump up the flavor with some freshly minced garlic and an array of spices, including a bay leaf, some Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, a little basil. And we're gonna give that a nice, good stir and we're gonna bring that uh, up to a medium high heat and once it's bubbling, we're gonna reduce it to a simmer and let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. The longer you go, the more flavor will develop, but it is gonna bake in the oven, so that's gonna give it some flavor. You can also add in the cooked beef and pork to this and let it all simmer, simmer together or you can just combine it all together with the pasta. Either will work. Once the sauce is done, we're gonna pour that into some uh, cooked muscacholi noodles. In this case, I used rigatoni noodles because I couldn't find muscacholi. What a sad day. But any uh, large tubular pasta will work. We're gonna also go ahead and add in the ground beef and ground pork, pork and give it a nice good stir until everything is well combined and the sauce is distributed. Next, we're gonna move on to our cheese. I have some freshly shredded mozzarella and Asiago cheese. Parmesan cheese will work as well. We're gonna add about half to three fourths of the cheese into the pasta mixture. And we're gonna just stir to combine as well until the cheese is well distributed. I like to add half to the middle because I think it kind of keeps everything nice and moist and it gets really cheesy and gooey in the middle once it's baked. Once our mozzarella is well combined, we're gonna go ahead and grab our baking dish. I have a seven by 11 inch baking dish. Uh, 9 by 13 will work as well and we're gonna just scoop in our muscacholi into an even layer as you are about to see I'm only gonna add half the muscacholi in that's because I actually made a double batch and I'm gonna freeze half I think this muscacholi freezes absolutely great and you can freeze it up to three months and whenever you're ready to enjoy it you can put it in a crock pot or pop it in the oven and yeah it's great I love doing the work now so I don't have to later once we have our muscatelli in our baking dish, we're gonna add the rest of that shredded cheese over top in an even layer, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna make it super cheesy. Once all the cheese is over the top of the muscatelli, we're gonna pop it in the oven and bake for about 20 to 30 minutes until the cheese is melted and the sauce is all bubbly. When you're ready to serve, you can add on some fresh parsley if you wish, but it's not required. You could also add on a little pesto if you want a little more flavor to your muscacholi. Either will do, and you're just gonna go ahead and scoop a large amount out and dive on in. You're ready to go, it's as easy as that. This is a absolute favorite of my family's for dinner. My kids love it, it's so good. My grandma always serves this at get-togethers and a crock pot. If you go the crock pot route, be sure to add a little bit more marinara sauce in. That way it doesn't dry out. Thank you so much for watching. As always, the entire recipe will be linked down below in the description. Bye-bye.